yes i think it's a start i don't know okay so here you can see the our project structure so you already know means you whenever you create project you get a web right windows mac linux but we are learning here only the android and ios module and you can you can ask whenever you have yeah. doubt okay so here suppose then we create a new yeah. project just we close it we'll start from the fresh we will close it also now we will create a new project what happened one minute new flutter project okay yeah, yeah. so uh, we select the sdk version after that which platform you do you want you want to implement your project then you can enable but if you are focusing only on android and ios device so i'll suggest unnecessary don't support the other platforms unnecessary so we can uncheck right yeah. after that yes. you know you know that um, um, what naming conventions uh, flutter uh, support or what's uh, um, provide like which name convention we should use in flutter like uh, I, think, uh, I think like what you see in front of you for project uh, small yeah small uh, small caps yeah if we provide like capital then it will create or not i think it will create error yeah uh, could name, uh what you call it uh, naming like, yeah so it yeah. should it it uh, says us uh, we should use a snake case so a snake yeah. case means like a small and then if you want to like, use another word you can score underscore right yes right so here is a flutter training app and now we have select if you know java then you can select java also but i will suggest you should use the kotlin and swift only because these supports are going ahead because previously we are using java and object c java in for android and object c for flutter correct if you yeah. want you can use java also or kotlin but you should try use java kotlin and swift and there are similar yes, yeah, Kotlin, I don't know if it's the uh, same programming like Java or different. I know some Java, but not too much. Okay. If you know Java, then Kotlin is also easy for you. But Kotlin is like, I have worked on both languages, Java and Kotlin. So like Java, previously we used Java only for Android native, for implementing Android native. But later, uh, Google introduced Flutter because they have uh, some internal issue with Java because Java is from the Oracle. So after that, uh, yeah. after that, Kotlin comes and in Kotlin, uh, there is a uh, many features that are uh, useful above the Java. And uh, um, in Android Studio, if you have a your Android application in Java then you can easily convert that in the Kotlin because there is a, a plugins through that you just need to right click on the class of Java. And after that, there is a one option to convert Java code to Kotlin. It will convert to Kotlin code. So mainly mm -hmm. what is their uh, advantages like we uh, used in Dart, right? So if I will check the Dart, so Dart have the similarity features that Kotlin already have, like the after 2.5 flutter, we get a null safety, right? Before 2.5, there was on there was not a null safety in flutter. Correct. So, uh -huh. uh, so this future is also present in Kotlin already. And now um, mostly um, Android net developers using Kotlin. So there is a one feature like uh, null safety, there is a um, they have a separate classes for the 
like uh, object class, data class, and classes also. So there are a number of things. So if you want, I we can discuss on uh, single single topics or Kotlin also. I can teach you Kotlin also, no problem. I know Java and Kotlin both. Okay, so it's a similar that you are using in uh, Dart also, like uh, Kotlin also support where or well also. There is a same thing classes. We can call the object like Java. Whenever we call the class, we must need to new keyword, right? Yes, right. Right. But uh, yes, right. But, yeah. But if you are using Flutter already, so in Flutter it's optional, right? So whenever yes. you are calling an object of a class, you can mention new co keyword or you can't mention right so same thing with, with or without yeah. yeah and same thing like you can uh, call a class with a new keyword or without new keyword in kotlin also okay so we will talk it later after that while creating a project here you can um, select a which type of this project like sometime we will check later how can we use a existing flutter in a other flutter project or how can we use a flutter as a module for the net of native android application so there are options like module packages plugin like which packages we are using from the pub dev right yeah okay yeah you are you using pub dev right pub dev uh, I you mean the for uh, installing packages? I don't know. <laughs> so you can uh, remember ah, the for Dart. You... No, no. Uh, whenever you want to use packages for our Flutter application, like any packages, material, HTTP or suppose then there is a uh, do package right so for where you need to search packages so there is a site pub.dev ah oh, okay okay so you remember uh, three sites first one is the um, flutter.dev okay so this is from the flutter documents if you want to read documents about the flutter okay. You can go here and here are the all Flutter related uh, stuffs like APIs, visits. So I'll suggest you first you focus only the visits, right? So here is the uh, options like visit catalog. So here all types of visits you will get like which visits are Flutter provide for animations, basics, async, input, right? So here you can check. And they provide the videos also, right? So that you can follow. If I click on the input, so input. So which type of um, input widgets Flutter provide without using third-party package? So there is a like form field, form, autocomplete, or row keyboard listener. So if you want to use form field, then you can click on that. You can read their documents. So that's why I'll um, I, I told you that just uh, check mark this Flutter dot website and here you can get the their latest updates or all things right. Yes, right. Right. And second website is the um, I have already mentioned here pub dot dev. So pub dot dev is a like um have you used android android native code no okay no problem so you know um suppose then in flutter uh, most of time we use a third party packages or in android we use a library that's provided from the gradle gradle right so same thing here yes whatever package you want to search suppose then you don't know the name of package but you know uh, for which functionality you want um, suppose then package suppose then 
uh, you want to implement your Flutter application uh, calling functionality, right? Like from your Flutter application should be called to other user. So you can search here a package is available for your Flutter or not. So you can um, like mention here like uh, call API call. So you can see here which type of call packages are available like true caller as call. So these are the packages. Have you used any packages until? No, no, no. I'm still beginner. Not because to this too deep. Okay, so then we I only, will... I only use material. I think only material. Okay, so then we will talk about it later because uh, we will go step by step. Otherwise, you will confuse, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so because um, I explain it because I think that you have already know about the packages, but it's okay. No. So for now, I just... only only know about uh, material. Uh, only I think it is the material. Okay. Okay, what is the material actually? I think it's the class. Okay. And? I think it is a class. And uh, it is responsible for uh, drawing things on the screen. I think. I okay. Think. So um, I want to explain you. So now is, I think, uh, material two point, uh, we are using two point, right? So previously before yeah. some years, there was only uh, in, I am a Android native developer. Okay. So first we'll create a, I, I'll explain all things. So first we are talking here, how can we create a new project? So you can give here name. What is the uh, package name? Package Flutter. No, no. Um, okay, no problem. So you Flutter have material, material that dot. No, no, no. I'm talking about to, um, what is a package names when we give. So Play Store. So whenever we install our application from the Play uh, Store, yeah. Play Store, right? Uh, yeah, come dot something. Yeah. So suppose then we can search here uh, phone, no apps, mobile apps mobile apps and here is a one app uh, suppose then we chat so this is my application okay and i have created it for the uh, sending a message to the whatsapp without saving number you know yeah. sometime it's happened that um, some we required a contact number or we required to send a message or something to other person, but we don't want to save their number, right? So for that, you yes. can send. Okay, so now you have observed one thing in your uh, Android device also. Okay, uh, can, I can just one minute, where is, I want to, actually I forget about it. Okay, I'm able to share my screen. Yes. So see, <clears throat> here is um, whenever you install a application on your Android device and you need to go in your file and there is a Android folder in that you can see whatever application you have installed. So there is a comma package name, right? So package name is there. This is the package name. You can see? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yes. Okay. So Anil is the my name, right? Yeah. And WeChat is the application name, correct? Yeah. And com, uh, we use com in the package. We can see that. So actually, while we create, so this is the standard and it is mandatory for the all applications. It uh, for the iOS, Android, both, right? So now it comes on the while creating a project. So here um, is the organization. You can see here organization, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. 
so organization means suppose then you are developing a flutter application for yourself or maybe for the uh, client or for any organization right so you need to mention here first is the com is mandatory and after that you should practice like give the uh, name of the organization here or for whom you are developing application suppose then you are developing an application for yourself right or we are developing this yeah. project for our class so we can mention here for training right yes training or you can mention here like accenture right or any company name or whatsapp yeah then we need give a name of project so whatever project name here flutter underscore training correct so this yes. is our package name and later we will see how we can change the package name while uploading the apk or ipa on the play store or app store correct so now yeah. we are ready to create our first flutter application so now it will take time to create let's see <clears throat> yeah it's building so little later so you have seen if you will open any any application so there is a package name suppose then i open it's not opening okay no problem no. okay so it's great right it's creating mm -hmm. so while uh, creating this project we didn't uh, support for the other platforms but later suppose then you want to enable a web application web support mac or you can enable it easily by by through the command right so for now it's building okay now uh, we change the this folder structure here i select project why i select project just for me because i can see all platforms here so now we will talk about the flutter folder structure right so here yes. one most important file is this pubspec yaml file you have already know about it but i'll yes, responsible for uh, phones assets yes so i'll go first here so you see um here is like uh, first is the name description so why this is this is like um, for the documentation purpose here you can mention whatever name you want for publishers or it's not mandatory now i want to delete uh, this commented code unnecessary here is the version what is this version of the app yes so this is the um, version name and this is the version code so whenever you publish this application so this number is visible for the users and this is not this is for yourself or for the developers for maintaining the new version or all things right whenever you upload new build for the store you need to increase both numbers correct you like make two then in the end make two yes so whenever a new update version comes it should be update this okay okay i got a call now uh, what these means these means like suppose then uh, sometime it's happen a little bit changes so you just need to increase this if you have a heavy changes like you change around 20 30 percent of your applications then you need to increase this version okay after that comes on this part environment this is the sdk environment 
So this is your, uh, what is it? Uh, this is for uh, like marshmallow, like. Uh, uh, I think your net uh, uh, network issue. Oreo or something. This variance of uh, Andhra. Okay, uh, okay, I'll explain. This is a, a not a Flutter S, Flutter SDK. It is a Dart SDK version. Okay, so your Dart SDK version is greater than 2.71 and less than 13. Okay, and now I'll delete this stuff. Here come this dependencies. So dependencies like this package you want to add here. Suppose then your application calling a API. So that time you required a, uh, some network related packages through that you can check the net network is enabled means internet is available on your device or not or your device is connected to network or not so whatever um, packages you want to add you need to add here right now here is comes yes. to dev dependencies so this is the dependency this is the dev dependency so we can understand through the name itself. So dev means it's for the developer purpose. Developer purpose means like while you compile the your code. So those related packages comes here because sometimes you need to generate a code. So you have here build runner or build package. So that's come here because um, you want to generate some code or some annotations or some want to generate a, some code through the annotations so that time you need a compile time packages not runtime okay so that will come under the dev dependencies like this is the flutter lint uh, okay. package through the flutter if you want to like who published this uh, package, then how can you search it? I will go to Flutter Docs and from there I can. Uh, okay, no, actually um, for any packages, you need to go on uh, pub.dev, not flutter.dev. So oh. now it okay. co comes the pub.dev in the picture. So this is the most important website or link, pub.dev. So through here, you can search any packages or you can go down, you can find which packages are available. And I'll explain later that which package you should use, what you need to check, this package is suitable for you. You should prefer this package or not because it is an open source. So you have seen that there are lots of um, advantages and disadvantages of the open source because there is a, any users can publish their packages or later they will not maintain that. So it will uh, very bad for our project, right? So we want to check, yeah. check this uh, package, who published this package, what's the update, what this package do. I know what this package do, but I want to explain you like how, how you can check. Suppose then uh, you clone a project and there are a number of packages. You want to check that. Now you have seen here, I have just explained here under this dev, whatever the packages that's used for the compile type, correct? So yes, this yes. package is usable for our development because uh, before this class you have show me uh, your project there is a uh, some they are showing up some warning right so they showing yeah. a warning that you should use a const keyword from the center visit right starting yeah so i'll explain what is the behind this uh, package why they warning you why you should use a static why you should use a hard-coded value or all things. I'll explain that later. 
first we will check it so while developing it show the you hint so this package is um, used for us that while you are writing a programming suppose then you write a program here um, just a simple it will give you output but uh, that's not a good practice so it's guide us or it's guide us to write a code with a good practices good um, syntaxes or that is the that will improve your code performance also so now we are here so this is the flutter lint package that we are using here and this package version is 2.00 correct yes so now i'll click it or if you want to before click it you can read here this is the recommended lints for flutter apps packages and plugins to encourage good coding practices right that i have you already told this package is for developer for the good coding practices nothing else okay now its version is latest 2.01 eight months ago it's updated and uh, which uh, publisher has published this flutter.dev so we can use this package blindly because it's by the flutter team correct so it is the our um, means uh, we can trust this because it's all about flutter now we can see here likes pub points popularity 100% so it means it's very useful package almost 100% developers use this package correct so now yes correct yeah so this is the publisher we have checked if you want like this this publisher has published how many packages which packages on so we can click here and we can check which packages flutter has published so here is a url launcher so url launcher is used while you sharing the your files or some data to other applications like so image picker while you select the image from your gallery your camera so that time you can use you can see here all popularity are 100 percent why because every developers like to use packages from the uh, good publisher or um, um, from the uh, packages yes and this package you can check here this package is uh, published eight months ago here you can check all the details how can you use okay and uh, you need to check here also suppose then some packages are support on the android platform or only ios or which platform this package support you can check here right yes so this is about it now comes on that part uh, here is the all part like like assets whenever we will use assets we can enable this we will check it later so it's yeah. all about the pub spec file now we come this pub spec log so what is this file so actually whenever you add or you update whatever in this pub spec file it's uh, uh, generate a code related to the pub spec file in the pub spec log so here uh, you can check the all things for all packages like here we use the flutter lint then all code is generated here so you can check here all versions for this like and uh, i'll show you here as the flutter version also here so this is the your flutter uh, dart version here whatever version we are using here right this one or we can uh, check ahead in uh, in next classes like how can we mention here flutter sdk and sdk separately or this is the we have provided a range version right you can use uh, any version between that but if we want to uh set a specific version of this project we can set it we can we see later right and uh, this is all about these two classes now comes the other this is a uh, uh, analysis uh, options file so this is used for the flutter lint package this package 
if you don't want to use this package then you can remove this file also actually um, before some versions of flutter it was not comes automatically we need to add this but now flutter has provided it while creating a project okay now come mm -hmm. this testing this is part for the testing whenever you want to test visit testing unit testing or integration testing but leave it now now comes on the android part so we say that flutter is the um, one code base platform provide for the multiple platform native applications right so yes. we say why because we can have a, these folders for the different platforms and where we can add the native code also or we can communicate with the flutter and native code through the some um, classes so that classes name is method channel we will learn that also later so this is the flutter and this is the android there is the whole android project you can open this android project separately you can use ios project also separately if i'll click right here so there is a option open ios module in xcode so you can work on the separate ios module you can run that also same thing on android you can open android separately right now comes here lib folder so lib folder is a here we use a common code for the all platforms if we want to write a specific code for android platform we write here if we want to specific for ios then we write right here if we want to a common project for the flutter that will run on the all platforms we will write in the lib module right and whenever we create a project main file comes and now we need to run this project before running we need to um, like run some commands just let me check the what time is remaining so then we, okay five minutes okay so i'll just uh, finish this introduction here just be one minute i'll clear this all things all comments then we'll go ahead okay now we will go in the tools or here is the all flutters related commands for running we need to uh, we can clean a flutter code because if have some issues or uh, want to clean our project then we can run this command or we can directly sync our project for syncing up our pub file we run this pub get file you can run these commands from here also or you can run the commands from terminal okay so it's on up to you now here you can see my project is showing the errors or uh, it's telling that you need to sync this product get dependency but actually i'm uh, like i have i can see which sdk or which flutter version i am using so i need to go in the setting android studio setting and there is a language where i can check which flutter version i am using so i have selected 3.01 so i can target a latest version i have here maybe 3. Point, i don't know which version i have one minute this is the different actually i use uh, something different for manage the platforms but it's okay let's check it will work or not here is the 3.1 i need to hear 3.01 why all right now i think flutter version is 3.3.10 latest maybe so after that my command is run flutter pub get once it's done we can run this project okay so until we will uh, we have discovered all the all our structure folder now we will talk about the main file so what is this main method this is the program entry point yeah so here our flutter application run it's a method 
Yeah. So in Java, you know, you familiar with Java, right? So our Java program start from the void main. Yes, yes. Yeah. And this is our entry point for Flutter. So here you can call any classes, not only this, you can run whatever class you want. You must need to mention run F here. And uh, after that, you will call this class and uh, this material theme, what is the material theme and uh, uh, for which platform material theme used, we will uh, discuss about it later and uh, in the next class. And I have some makeup PPT also, we will discuss about that, like what is the architecture of and what is the material theme, copper chino, visits, right? So all things we will discuss later uh, day by day. Yeah, so what time is remaining? Only one minute. So if you have any doubt, you can ask me or... Um, or no, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, uh, increase the knowledge on this, what you have to explain, and see the recording of the lecture, and also try, try to about it. So uh, summarize it. Sure, sure. You try, and then we will learn new things or yeah it is very useful information really what you have uh, uh, illustrated and uh, i will do my best to uh, make it stick to my mind so in the future i will always have 